Well, Carl, you got out of jail today. Uh, the unbeaten run continues, but what were your thoughts on that game today? Oh, I thought we were poor overall. Uh, picked a few injuries up along the way. We lost, but we nearly lost Tony Chunks in the warm up. He'd, he'd always ankle. Adamson did his wrist in the first three minutes of the game, and Olden, uh, his elbow when he first came on. But about four or five, Calvin was ill before the game. He, he was uh, being violently sick. Uh, we toughed it out. We didn't play great. We spoke at half time about our completion rate, about finding a little bit of smartness to play the conditions. The, the wind was horrendous today out there, making all sorts up with the ball, and find a little bit of courage. We found the courage. We probably left a little bit of our smartness to leave West Yorkshire this morning, but we found a way to win, and that's what good teams do. When you're not playing great, a little bit of adversity, a couple of calls went against us. First time we were behind, uh, in front in the game, Gareth Potts scored right at the death, you know. We found a way to win, so we're really, really pleased, but we are much better for next week's encounter, which we can now talk about. We've been trying to not talk about the Fenerson game, because it didn't matter if we got beaten today. But we found a way to win, so we can now talk about it. But Gareth Potts today, outstanding. Came up with three huge players for the team. Tackling in the first half, we had no right to make a proper try saver. It's called a try at the death, which was the icing on cake, and he actually caught the penalty goal which they missed which, to retrieve the ball back at the field of play. So, well done, Gareth Potts. I mean, Gareth Potts kept Peter Fox out of the team last week, and he's proven it once again that he needs to be playing week in, week out for the team, doesn't he? Well, when Peter Fox thinks the same, he thinks he should be in the team, but if you get your shirt, you've got to play well to keep it, and, and Gareth Potts played really, really well today, so I can't see him being out of the team next week, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's a, it's a long week between now and then. Lots can happen in rugby league. There's a lot of unforced errors today, you know, you were dropping the ball and mm -hmm. throwing a few forward passes. I mean, how frustrating as a coach to see that on the field when you're just dropping the ball and perhaps some lazy passing from dummy half and things like that. Well, when the game starts and commences, we have that much control. We can maybe ch change a little bit of shape, change substitutes, put some pointers into certain people, but actual big players like catching the ball, making a poor kick, that's, the coach can't do anything about that. That's down to player mistake or a player of lack of skill or a player making poor decisions. And that's what we were at, we were at today. We had a few people who weren't quite at the races, but collectively, we pulled together and got the result. I mean, Ben Johnston, who has, in the last few weeks, has been really exciting. You know, he's been breaking the line and you know, getting downfield. And he did that a few times today. But do you think the Crusaders had their eyes on Scott Morrell and Ben Johnston to try and shut them down today? Absolutely. And we didn't help Ben Johnston and Scott Morrell because we didn't lay a platform for them like we have in, in the previous weeks. And it's difficult for halfbacks when they're playing off slow rook. And we were playing off a lot of slow rook today. Uh, but John O made a couple of nice breaks himself, and Scott Morell's kicking game in the second half was outstanding, so we've still got a great deal of uh, pride in what they did. As you mentioned, the Featherston game is next week, and that is a massive, massive game. Um, how important is it to win this game? I mean, do you think uh, if you win this game, you will definitely finish second, or is the season not over for you? Yeah? Well, the season's not over. No. We've seen what happens in the Championship this season. Literally, anybody can beat anybody. If you don't turn up, you're going to get knocked off. We just need to make sure we get as many healthy troops as we can on that field at the right time, prepare really, really well this week, do what we need to do, and the result will take care of itself. But we'll, 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 be, we'll be OK. You know, we're looking forward to the game. The coaches staff have been preparing for this game behind the scenes. The players don't know what we've been doing for, the, for a few weeks now because we know the importance of this fixture. What's the game plan going into that game? Because Featherston are a very good side. They've got a lot of squad depth. And call on a lot of good players. I mean, you know, how and who have you got to shut down next week, and how have you got to do it? And you know, what can you take from that performance today that's going to, you know, galvanise you for next week? They've got too many players to talk about in a short interview like this, but their half backs are exceptional. Very big, explosive forward pack. Some real smart outside players. They're defensively very, very well structured. And so we need to be at our best to even get anywhere near Ferris and Rollers, but I can assure you we will be ready.